Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push back the living skin gently. So I'm not pushing back the cuticle. I'm trying to feel for the living skin and push it back. And then I'm going to you, uh, remove the cuticle that's underneath. And I was explaining to the client why the skin is stretching like this. And the thing is, if I cut it, this is a fold, skin fold. So when you cut it, it starts to fray and people start picking. But when you push it back every few days, very, very gently, and you can do that with the nail polish on, it, uh, it shrinks back. So sometimes initially the results are not so amazing. I mean, we are going to see the difference. But with time, I guarantee, and with care, because that's important to use proper creams. And sometimes when the skin is really tough, um, you can't really push it back. So just do it as gently as you can, and as much as you can, and with each manicure, it will get better. So now I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna do a dry manicure. So this is a very gentle, very soft diamond bent. And on a very low speed, I'm just going to remove the cuticle. So what's left now is cuticle. And this bit has also a little bit of a, a texture on the end. I'll show you in a second. So it kind of um, just exfoliates very, very gently the skin here so here on this end <clears throat> it's also a little abrasive but very very little so i'm not filing the nail i have a super light touch because then there's going to be nothing to pick at when it's nice and smooth like this. Okay, so the client was explaining to me that she was uh, buffing the nail a little bit, which damages the surface. So probably that's why this nail is a little bit shorter because it's probably fraying and it's weak. So I told the client that it's best not to buff the nail or when there was a bit of a buffing it's tiny tiny bit to just remove the shine but not to remove the surface so i'm just going to smooth the end so it's not catching
so as you can hear i'm not putting pressure on the machine pressure is here Get a little bit more pressure but as you can see this is still very very gentle but on a nail you really you really really have to be careful So here I'm going to explain again because this is so important. This part is a living skin and this part here, this part here is a cuticle. And people think that all of this is a cuticle, which it's not. So I'm removing the cuticle and I pushed back the living skin. You don't have to remember the name proximal nail fold, it's a technical name. Um, but you can just say living skin and dead skin. I'm going to link a video below where I explained in a little bit, explain in a little bit more detail what's what. So I told the client to use the little birchwood stick, which I'm going to give give to her, and to just push back the living skin um, once every couple days, just so it stays back. And when she uses creams on a regular basis, that skin is going to be nice and elastic, and it's just going to bounce back. So this is cuticle. going to smooth this area so what I'm doing is I'm just smoothing it I'm not trying to remove dry skin because dry skin cannot be removed or fixed by filing and I know I'm repeating this in every video but this is so important for people to understand that that's not how you correct dry skin I'm just doing this to smooth it so there is nothing to pick and to kind of freshen up the area. Look how much better this looks, so much better. 